Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you different ways to wrap your hair. I already have a few videos on my channel on how to wrap a silk press. So if you want a detailed tutorial on how to do just that, I'll leave the links for them down below. So wrapping your hair can be difficult, but I'm going to try and help you out today using a technique that the Dominicans use. They call it a tubi. Is it tubi? I really don't want to butcher this. A tubi or a dooby. Anyways, so I'm starting by brushing my hair out and I'm going to start brushing on one side. You can pick either side, whatever's comfortable for you. And I'm going to lay the hair as flat as possible. And once I have it flat going towards the back of my head like that, I'm going to secure it with a hairpin. Just one of these silver hairpins that I use for my hair rollers. Once that's in, I'm going to smooth the hair from the back to the other side. Making sure it's as flat as possible. And then I'm going to add another hairpin back there. So those pins behind there go right behind my ears, just like that. So now I'm going to make sure I hold on to the hair so it doesn't fall. And I'm going to smooth that hair over back into the starting point. Once it's nice and flat, I'm adding another hairpin at the front there so it doesn't move. Then I'm going to take the rest of the hair and wrap it around. The hair does overlap the pins, but once you take them out, it's not going to disrupt the hair or anything, so it's fine. And the rest of the hair is swirled on top, if you get what I mean, like an ice cream. I hope that makes sense, but you can see what I mean in the video. Once the ends have been swirled up just like that, I'm going to put a pin there to secure it and another one on the other side, just so it doesn't fall down when I put the hair tie on. So that's all done, nice and secure. You should be able to go jogging with it. No, just, just get it. So I couldn't find the caps that the Dominicans use, so I just bought this fishnet cap, which works just fine. It's just that the holes weren't big enough for when I was ready to take the pins out, but I just kind of squeezed my fingers through and even lifted it up a little bit to get the pins out. Their caps have bigger holes, so it just makes it easier to take the pins out. So I'm just going to stretch the cap firstly and then place it over my head very carefully, being careful not to touch the hair at all. And then once that's on, I'm just going to remove the pins. Once all the pins are out, I'm just going to make sure that those front hairs are smoothed over so they don't crimp. And I'm rubbing my hands over the cap to smooth the hair even more. And that's what it looks like when it's all done. The cap actually fits tighter and more snug than my satin scarf. So I actually preferred the way this felt on my head compared to my, my satin scarf. Because my satin scarf always falls off. But this one stayed on all night. So if you have issues with the actual wrapping... You can try this method out to see if it helps or if you are a pro you could try wrapping your hair with your eyes closed that's my new party trick by the way <laughs> wow. The next method is called a swirl kuss, which is a South African technique. So they use the leg of a pair of tights. I was confused about how long I should cut the tights and I cut mine way too short. It was just basically, it wasn't big enough to fit over my head. So I ended up using like the rest of the length of that leg and just tying one end in a knot. But as you can see, once it's stretched, it does shrink up. So I would suggest to use the full length of the leg. So I carefully put the kuss over my swirl, get it, swirl kuss, <laughs> and I just rubbed my hands over it to make sure that my hair wasn't kinked at all, because you don't want to wake up the next morning and you've got crimps or lumps in your straight hair. It fit pretty snug, but not too tight as I first imagined it would. I also did buy a wig cap to try because I thought it would actually work better than just tights, as it's actually designed to stay on your head so i bought this wig cap it's got a silicone grip on it so it did stay on all night it had the same snugness as tights but it also had that silicone around it to help keep the cap on so that was perfect the only thing to be careful with with using tights or this wig cap is that it can snag your hair when you're taking it off so just take care when you're removing it so i did actually put my satin scarf on top for extra protection just in case it didn't work but the cap did not move it don't move <laughs> 
But anyways, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a great big thumbs up and leave any questions down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more hair care for myself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.